We all love a nice compact farm that gives you tons of resources, right? So in today's video, we're going to be going over five super easy compact animal farms in Minecraft. As always, my friends, if you enjoy this video or find it useful, a like rating would be very much appreciated. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you guys don't want to miss out on future Minecraft content. So without further ado, let's get on with our first farm. So the first farm we have here is in fact incredibly simple here. We've got the nano animal farms. It works with sheep cows and pigs and it is of course originally by impulse sv i will give credit where it's due uh, because of course i didn't come up with this particular design now this little farm here is what it would be like if it was in the ground and this one here is what it looks like when it's sort of suspended up on the surface here so as you can see the concept is actually very very simple if we go up to the top here uh, we would be standing on top of this trapdoor here let's grab ourselves out some wheat and basically all we do is we press this button which allows a whole bunch of water to come out the sheep go ahead and come up to the top here with the fence blocking it and basically what happens is this farm makes use of the maximum entity cramming rule so by doing that the adults will die you head down into your little section here and guys check it out there's a bunch of drops there so yeah this farm is incredibly simple to make. So let's go through it. So literally everything you need is inside of this chest. This top row is basically where you guys can customize what goes on. So any block, any fence, any trap door or any wooden trap door more to the point. Uh, any stairs and then we've got a dispenser, hopper, chest, ladders and then the water bucket will go inside of the dispenser. So let's begin with the chest, right? So we're going to go ahead and chuck it right here. We're going to have ourselves a hopper behind it rather like that and then rather simply we're going to have ourselves a dispenser rather like this we're going to go up a block we're going to chuck a button on here so we will activate the dispenser and then all we need to do is build up the sides here very very easy like that we can go ahead and add in our stairs real quick and then of course we can add in the ladders and of course the trap door which will allow us to get in and out of this place so there's the trap door and then we can place down another block rather like this and then we go down we've got the drops going on there which is very very good now all we need to do is we need to add in a water bucket rather like that and then of course we need to add in a fence you can use that to dispense the water and of course take it away and once again it does work with multiple other types of animals so for example let's do cows this time we could spawn them in there rather like so and we could get some wheat, breed them up, and upon hitting 24 plus mobs in that singular space, they will start killing off the adults. But since we don't have a lot in there, it won't. So cool. So there you go. There's your first animal farm. The second farm here is again extremely simple. We have ourselves an auto sheep shearing farm. Of course, 1.14 added the functionality uh, to dispensers, whereby if you put shears inside of it, it will actually shear the sheep from the dispenser. It is incredibly easy to make. It's incredibly simple. So let's get into it. Once again, guys, this is an incredibly simple farm. So let's go ahead and add in all of these things to the hotbar and we will make a little bit of a start on this thing. Of course, the shears will be going inside of the dispenser. So let's begin with the chest. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring ourselves in a hopper around the back here. We're going to put ourselves a minecart hopper on top of that and then surround it with blocks rather like that. We can go ahead and block that off rather like so as well. And what we're going to do now, guys, is we are going to add in some grass grass blocks we're going to encase the middle grass block with glass and the special property of doing this is the fact that uh, the grass will actually stay there it will not convert back into a dirt block which of course is very very good now what we're going to do next is we are going to add in an observer where the redstone bit is pointing out of the back so basically when the grass grows the observer will detect it it will send a redstone pulse into a block out the back rather like this and then the, the dispenser of course with the shears will be inside of here now all that's left to do is to add in a sheep and then we will be good to go and then all of the drops will wind up in the chest down here oh the traveling merchant hi there <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, very, very simple to make. And as you go along, depending on how long you're in your world, it's fully automatic. You don't need to do a single thing. It will gather you wool as you go along. This third farm is the old trusty automatic chicken cooker. The 
design was originally by my buddy Izuma Void from the Hermitcraft server. And as you can see, once again, it is actually super simple. With the use of the glass here, we can see the inner workings of this farm. So it's very, very simple. We've got some cedar chickens up here. They will go ahead and blast out some eggs, which will go into the dispenser. And that will automatically dispense the eggs, chucking them against the glass here. And then hopefully hatching some chickens. Upon the chickens growing up, they will hit the lava and they will die, giving us cooked chicken, which is fantastic. And a small supply of feathers. I mean, who doesn't love feathers, huh? All right, folks. So building this chicken farm is actually extremely simple. We've got literally everything we need on our hot bar right now. So let's whip out a chest here. Let's grab out a solid block. We're going to grab a hopper, have it going into the chest. We're going to put down a slab rather like that with a dispenser going into said slab. Now, what we're going to do next is add in a hopper going into the dispenser. And we are also going to surround this hopper with glass so we can keep the chickens in there because that is where the chickens are going to reside. Now, the next thing we're going to do is come out the back here. We're going to add in a redstone comparator. We're going to add in a torch to the side of it rather like so with a block on top of it and a block to the side of the comparator. We're going to add in a piece of redstone dust here. We're actually going to replace this piece of glass with concrete rather like so. Add in a redstone torch, another piece of concrete there with a piece of redstone dust. And as far as I know, ladies and gentlemen, aside from putting in the lava, which is extremely simple, you could just do something like this. Uh, that is just about it. So let's go ahead and grab out some chickens and also some little eggies. And then we can give this thing a little bit of a shot. So we're just putting some chickens in there. And let's say they've gone ahead and uh, laid some eggs. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. So it's just shot out all of the eggs and we have ourselves a baby chicken down there. And again, upon it growing up, it will die and its drops will get caught inside of this chest. Okay, so this fourth farm here is actually the semi-automatic cow cooker. We have ourselves a cow cooker here, ladies and gentlemen. A concept originally by Rabbit Small. I just went ahead and compacted it just a little bit. Now, as you can see, the concept is actually very, very simple. We have ourselves the cedar cows up here. You breed them with wheat. The baby cows will get shot out through this water stream down to the soil sand here, and upon them growing up, they will die. Now, if any adults get caught in this block behind here, we can simply go ahead, press this button, and then they will be forced to die in the lava. So let's give it a little bit of a shot for proof of concept. Uh, let's go ahead and breed these guys up real quick, and as you guys should hopefully be able to see any second now, the little baby cows will basically just get shot out of their parents, which is kind of interesting to see but oh well. But yeah, there we go my friends. A slightly larger farm so without further ado, let's have a look at the resources needed for this farm. As you can see, pretty simple. Alrighty guys, pay close attention because this one is a slightly more difficult one. We are going to add in the output chest first. We're going to add in a couple of hoppers, both going into that chest with a couple of bit of soul sand and then we're going to build up two blocks on the sides of the soul sand here, rather like so. We're also going to encase this area at the front and then at the back we're going to add in a couple of blocks rather like that with a sticky piston and a piece of glass in our case. We are going to add in a piece of signage there. We're going to add in another sign rather like that. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to place in the lava. So the signs will hold up the lava in its place. All right, folks, so with that done and dusted, we're going to add in a couple more blocks above the glass and piston there. We're going to cover up the lava rather like this, and we're going to add in our wood trapdoor rather like so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to build up towards the back over here. We are going to add in a few blocks rather like this, and then build up this particular block rather like this. And then what we're going to do rather simply is add in the water flow rather like that. And believe it or not, aside from going ahead, and putting in the button down the bottom here which activates the sticky piston back there we're pretty much done so a button right there we are going to add ourselves in a piece of redstone here we're going to add in a block rather like that and believe it or not that should do the job rather like that. All right, folks, let's add in our cows. Let's go for, I don't know, however many cows we can get in, I guess. And then we'll give them a bit of a go. Some of them seem to be breeding cows anyway. So let's give it a go. So we've got all of the hearts coming out. And upon them breeding, the baby cows should just get shot forwards rather like that, as you can see there. And believe it or not, 
That is just about it. You wait for these guys to grow up. They will die. If there's any peeps at the back, you press the button to force them into the lava. And there you go, my friends, a semi-automatic cow cooker. All right, folks, and this fifth and final farm is the semi-automatic rabbit cooker. Not only does it give you cooked rabbit, but of course, you do have the rare chance of getting rabbit's feet. This is originally by a YouTuber called Skippy6Gaming. And well, as you can see, it's a slightly more advanced build using redstone blocks and pistons, but it's still pretty simple. So at the top here, you have your seed of rabbits. You press the button. They all go bobbing around rather like that. You breed them up with the carrots and all of the babies will fall next to the fences down to this killing area here. Now, upon those guys growing up, you could just press this button here and the flint and steel within this dispenser here will set them on fire. The piston will immediately put out the fire and then away you go. So there you go. Pretty simple stuff, isn't it? And then all of the drops get caught in here. But of course, because those guys were babies, uh, there will be no drops. So without further ado, let's have a look and see how to build this thing. Okay, folks, so everything we need for the semi-automatic rabbit cooker is in my inventory right here. Now, I'd recommend using a nether brick fence as it is the only one that isn't flammable and won't burn away. There is a chance, of course, that the wooden ones will burn away, which will go ahead and basically destroy the entire farm. All right, folks, pay close attention. We're going to do this in a bit of a layer by layer style. So let's begin with the output chest with a hopper going into it. We're going to put a piece of glass on either side of of that we are also going to place in a sticky piston and get rid of the glass rather like that now towards the back here what we are going to do is we are going to add in the first of our buttons so we're going to add in a button on top of this block rather like so uh, we are going to add in a sticky piston with a redstone block on the back of it and basically guys what is going to happen is we are going to add in a little bit of a staircase rather like this uh, which will act Activate the dispenser which is eventually going to go up the top here so let's grab out the redstone here we are going to add in a piece of redstone here here and here with a redstone torch coming off of the side of it we're going to add in another piece of concrete rather like this with a repeater set specifically to four ticks and there we go the first couple layers just about done all right folks so carrying on from that what we're going to do is add in a dispenser facing into here and this is going to contain the flint and steel that is going to set the block which is going to be this one on fire now what we're also going to do is start building up some of the other sections here so we can actually encase the little rabbits inside of this place rather like so and then what we're going to do is we are going to add in some slime slabs rather like this the reason we're using slabs is because uh, glass and fences they do connect now so let's go ahead and put in the nether book fence in rather like that we're going to add in a another layer of glass and this side is going to house a water bucket rather like this and then all we need to do is add in another block up here add in a button and as you can see that will now dispense into that and very very simply what we should be able to do now is add in the top section here and then we should be able to add in the rabbit and give it a little bit of a go so let's grab ourselves some rabbit spawn eggs we're going to grab ourselves some carrots real quick and then we should be able to give this thing a proper go so let's add in a whole bunch of rabbits down there yeah why not let's go ahead and dispense the water and then we can get them all breeding up real nice and easy like let's go ahead and take away the water real quick and guys as you can see the baby rabbits are down the bottom here now once again upon them growing up we will set them on fire using this button here which sets them all alight and then they all die the drops will go into this chest and there we go my friends the semi-automatic rabbit cooker and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Five super easy, super simple, super compact animal farms that will give you a whole ton of resources, whether it be food or any of the other specific drops like rabbit feet, leather, wool, all that kind of stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, found it useful, then uh, please do be sure to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button and ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future Minecraft content. But for now, my friends, I will bid you guys farewell. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.